Hello, all of you cats and kittens out there. My name is Scott Wagner, and I'm going to show you um, how to do a cool trick using Google Meet and an iPad. So I'm going to start off by going into my Meet, and I'm going to join uh, my meeting or start a meeting. And so in my meeting, it's going to open up. I'm going to allow it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit join now to go ahead and join my web chat. So I am now in my Google Meet. Now in Meet, in the bottom right hand corner, there is a button right here that I can use to present my Meet uh, to all of the students. So I can present my screen, my entire screen, I can choose to present that to all of the participants who are watching at home. So if I wanted to be able to do that, all I would do is hit present screen and it would start sharing my screen. Now when it does that, anything I'm doing on my screen gets sent to all of the viewers out there. So what I can do is, let's say I wanted to send my iPad screen, not my computer screen to all of those um, viewers. So I can kind of cheat uh, to make that work, by using an app called QuickTime. So um, the first thing I need to do is I need to take my iPad and I am going to take the uh, lightning cable that came with my iPad and I'm gonna plug it directly into my computer. Now, once I do that for the first time, it's gonna ask me, do I wanna trust my computer? I need to tap trust and I need to type in my passcode to do so. And I need to make sure that I have my Apple Pencil, and my Apple Pencil is charged and ready to go. So now I'm going to leave my iPad plugged in to my laptop, and I'm going to open up an app on my laptop called QuickTime. Now QuickTime is a screen recording tool. It can do all kinds of different fun things, but one of the things it could do is it can actually record your uh, screen. And so when I open QuickTime, it just gives me this little window here. I'm gonna to go to File and do a new movie recording. And what that is going to do, uh, chances are by default, you're gonna see your webcam. It's gonna give you something like this and it's gonna show you just your webcam view of what is uh, showing up on the webcam on my laptop uh, right up, up here, right? So. Uh, what I don't want, or that's not what I want, I wanted to actually use my iPad screen. So right next to the record button, there's a little arrow. And if I click on that, I can tell it to actually, instead of using the FaceTime HD camera, which is built into my laptop, I wanted to use my iPad. So when I do that, it will actually change to my iPad screen. Now, just for the sake of showing you here, I'm gonna kind of jockey my windows and what I am seeing now is a mirror image of my uh, iPad here is now showing up in QuickTime. And when I change on my iPad, it's going to change uh, over here into that window because that's just a mirror image of what it's doing. And so if I were hypothetically using an app on my iPad that supports writing uh, that I could write on, then that writing is going to then show up on QuickTime. And you might see where we're going with this, but if I go back into my Google Meet here, Google Meet, again, has the ability to present your entire screen. So if I hit present now and say, let's present my entire screen, it says, do you want to allow permission? Yes, I do. It is going to present my entire computer screen, anything that's going on in my computer is going to get presented to all of the viewers that are in my Google Meet. Now, right now, all they're seeing is they are seeing this window with my Google Meet right up front here. So what I need to make sure is I need to make sure that QuickTime is in front of that window. So I'm going to just click on QuickTime in my dock to bring it up front. I could even go full screen on it up here if I want to. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and in Meet, I'm going to tell it to record uh, this meeting so I can show you what it looks like. So again, I want QuickTime up front. And now I'm going to switch devices and I'm going to go to my iPad. 
which again is still plugged in. And now I can use any writing app on my iPad. So I like Explain EDU, which is a really nice um, whiteboard app. And I now have a blank canvas that I could say uh, anything I want. And it still is going to record my voice and still stream my voice. Uh, and now send me my entire computer screen along with it, which again is mirror, mirroring my iPad screen. So iPad is being mirrored onto my laptop and my laptop screen is being sent out through Google Meet to all of my students. I know it's a lot going on at one time, but it's a really cool way to be able to actually have an inner or a live whiteboard that you're presenting to all of your students along with your voice at that same time. And if you need to jump back into your webcam, all I have to do uh, is simply go back into Google Meet and switch off presenting and it'll go right back to my webcam. I can jump back and forth, do some live lecture, and then now let's go back to my uh, interactive whiteboard. So I'm gonna tell it to start presenting again, present my screen, allow, and then make sure QuickTime is front and center, and then now again, jump back onto my iPad, and then just say uh, whatever problems I wanna solve, and write all of that just like that. So that is a fun, easy way on how you can actually take your iPad screen and project that whiteboard uh, using Google Meet.